One of the main um, challenges with conservation is often when you work with species that are difficult to find, which is often a characteristic of endangered animals. That really prohibits you to protect them because we really believe that to protect a species, you have to understand them. One of the positive side of koalas is they poo a lot. And so if you want, we can use their scats to identify whether certain habitats are being utilized by koalas. And eventually we wanted to come up with a, with a dog that was able to find live koalas. And this is where Bear comes from. When we look for a new dog, um, we um, put the word out to all the rescue group. And um, because often what we look for in a dog makes them difficult pets. So that high energy uh, obsession with playing. Bear is an abandoned dog, um, probably because of his high level of energy and the fact that he always wants to play. So he's been uh, helping us a lot, finding koalas so we can fit them with GPS collars and then we can study the movement of the koalas. So what we're hoping for him now is that um, we can raise enough fund and continue our, our research, but also our welfare um, missions, if you want, as much as we can. So one of the main challenges for us to deploy there on the ground seven days a week has really been around funding. We've now entered what I would call the second phase, which is koalas coming back to their habitat, which has been devastated by fire. And the fear is for us is that the habitat that will return to is not sustainable for them. The dream of the detection dog for conservation now in this second phase would be to fundraise some funding so that we can put our team on the ground seven days a week across all of the fire affected areas. I think that the, the extent of the bushfires in Australia has touched the world. There is a good news story. Uh, he's goofy with his little boots and he's doing something good in the context of the bushfires. And I think that that's enabled some people, some, some members of the community to be able to engage with the conversation around climate change and around bushfires. We all have a passion to protect biodiversity and I think with the bushfires, my entire team is, is um, sad, feeling a bit powerless and wanting to do more. That's the biggest frustration is thinking, we have the team, we have the tool, you know, help us get out there and make a difference.